Hi, hi, this is Ray. Uh, tonight I'm cooking Irish stew, uh, which includes the chops, lamb chops. Um, I'm going to just brown them off in a frying pan. Um, I've got uh, some potatoes, onion and carrots, and uh, some bacon. Okay, now why I've got the chops browning off, um, I've just got some bacon, uh, and you can just get this from Woolworths or Coles. So uh, just grab a, a few slices there, and we're just going to dice it. Uh, just uh, some potatoes. Uh, I'm using the low carb potatoes. It's 25% low carb. Um, so just at this stage, just for a, a, a for two people or two or three people, I guess four potatoes will be enough. And just have to peel them and, and then just slice them. I'm just browning off the bacon. Um, that's pretty much how the chops you need to do. It's a bit of brown on, on either side. Uh, leave the skin on. Um, so now we're just going to quickly brown off the, uh, the, the bacon and then we'll start laying the pot. Yep. Okay, uh, we're just going to be slicing the onion. As you can see, I've uh, sliced the potato and the carrots. Carrots, pretty much just at an angle, just a bit of fancy schmancy there. Uh, potatoes, around about that thick because you're going to be having them in a layer and they'll be like a, a stew. So you want to have it reasonably thick so they don't go soggy. Um, so we've still got the bacon still browning and the chops. So I'll, I'll uh, just stir the bacon quickly, get back to the onion and we'll come back. It's not the neatest slicing, but it's effective. The ingredients we need some gravy stock or beef some, stock. some beef stock. So, uh, beef stock powder, beef any type. So, probably looking at about dessert spoon. Um, try and get it at a good distance. Yeah. And now we need quarter. one quarter of a cup, yeah. which is 250 mils. There you go, so 250 mils. Just give it a bit of a shake and a bit of a stir, so I'm not going to get anything fancy. Just a... Got everything ready. The, the bacon's all browned, the stock's made. Okay, so now we're just going to layer it. So first, in a pot that size, depends on how much you're doing it for, but what we need to do is we need to layer the potatoes first. So we'll put the potatoes in a circle. Because that's your potatoes first. And then we'll just put some carrots. I mean, like you said, you don't have to be precise as long as you've got some in there. Right, and then we throw a little bit of onion. Okay, just a bit of onion for the taste. Okay, now what we want to do is we'll add some bacon. So I'll just get my spoon. Okay, we'll just put, put that there. Now we put the chops in. Mm -hmm. So we want to try and focus the chops in the middle. Okay, so chops in, we'll get rid of that. Now we're going to do the reverse of what we've done. So 
We'll start with the bacon. So we'll layer that on top. Okay, we'll just throw, throw that in. Like I said, no points for neatness. Okay, just give it a bit of a turn there so we'll get rid of that. Okay, so we throw the onion in. And again, don't worry about being neat and precise. Just we'll take whatever's been fallen off here. And as you remember, the carrots were second on the list to go, so we'll put them in there now. Okay, and the potatoes, which we layered first, now we layer on top. So again, the same type of format. Lower it on. Now we're using probably quite a bit of potatoes, but you don't really have to use that many, I guess, as long as you've got it layered there. Now we've made up some stock, so we've used one tablespoon of stock powder with 250 ml of water, give it a bit of a stir, and just spread that over. Okay. That. Parsley on top. So we'll just get some parsley. Parsley. Before we put it on the stove top, stove top to cook, um, just got a bit of parsley. They could use fresh parsley or parsley flakes, um, which is your preference. So just a, a, a good pinch and just spread that around. Not too much, just enough just to, to coat the top there. Okay, that's it. So now I'll put this on the cooktop and um, we'll be back again as soon as it's finished. Been on cook. Uh, it's probably taken about 30 minutes or so, give or take, but you just need to check it every now and then. Um, you'll notice that when it's ready, you just pierce a, a knife through the potato and you can see it's gone real easily in there, so it's real soft. So that's your end product and now we'll come back when we put it on the plate. Just wait for a start now. Okay, so that's your, your Irish stew. Um, we put six chops in before, so there's two of us, so it's three chops each. Garnish it um, with a little bit of Turkish bread or some, some bread there. Um, and uh, you'll see the bacon on top. And uh, voila, I hope you enjoy.